North Texas religious leaders, meanwhile, gathered tonight to talk about what's happening at the border and how they can help. All new at 10 o'clock, Marianne Martinez, live for us over Catholic Charities in Fort Worth with what they discussed. Marianne? Doug, tonight we learned that two immigrant children who were being cared for right here in Fort Worth by Catholic Charities have been reunited with family. Now, we're being told they're not necessarily parents, but they are relatives, and there could be more reunifications coming shortly. Grant them shelter and solace, comfort and consolation. A night of prayers for immigrant children separated from their families. Faith leaders spanning several denominations and religions say they needed to do something. We have been hearing uh, really an outcry in our congregations. Wagner and other spiritual leaders advised attendees not to feel like this is a problem so big it can't be fixed. They acknowledge the role religion has played in this crisis. Attorney General Jeff Sessions invoking the Bible to defend the practice of separating families. The Torah warns against the wrongdoing of a gear or stranger in 36 places. The men and women of God not only prayed for the immigrants, but also for our leaders who will be tasked with reuniting those families. We have to solve these problems together. And that means that we have to learn to talk to one another from the very most basic core of our being. At the end of the service, they handed out this four-page uh, list of ways that people can help, everything from donations to calling your member of Congress and, of course, prayers. Now, if you'd like to see how you can help, you can head on over to our website, cbsdfw.com slash links. Reporting from Fort Worth, Marianne Martinez, CBS 11 News.